God bless you. Welcome to the Greater Destiny live stream ministry. Bishop Jonathan Edward Locus. We're glad to have you here today. And we are thankful for one more opportunity that you've given us to come into your home. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let mm -hmm. us rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. And due to the weather, we are live streaming this morning from our home. But we want you to join us and just enjoy yourself and enjoy the Word of God. Amen. And as we always do, we start off our service with the Word of Prayer. Amen. So Father God, we come before you this morning, Lord, thanking you for another day yes, that you Amen. allowed us to see a day that we've never Amen. seen before. And Lord, we thank you for yes, that. Lord. We ask you to look down upon us today. Yes. Oh God, open up our understanding. Yes, God. Oh God, and we pray for victory today yes, Lord. over everything that's not like you. Yes, Lord. And that you bind the adversary yes. that will seek to come against us. Yes, Lord. And command the enemy to lose his hope right now. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, we rebuke him. Yes, All sickness and disease. Yes, God. Those that are in the hospitals on ventilators. Mm -hmm. Those that are suffering this morning yes, from all God. types of disease. We pray in the name of Jesus that your healing virtue flow yes, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Yes, Lord. And we pray for victory over yes, Lord. sickness and disease. And in our country, yes, Lord. all these natural disasters, we pray, Lord, that you would turn men's hearts yes, Lord. back to you in yes, so many crises. Yes, even in Russia, in yes, the Ukraine, yes, and Lord. so many problems, even up in Michigan and Canada where they're blocking those bridges. Yes, There's so many things going on, but yes. God, you are in control. Yes, God. And Lord, we give you the glory, yes, the Lord. honor, and the praise. Yes, God. And God, that you will move in a mighty way. Yes, we ask you to look upon us today, Lord. We ask you to bless the service. Yes, give us a word yes. that will encourage our hearts, yes, that we may May move forward yes, God. in worshiping you yes, Lord. and pleasing you yes, Lord. and that our souls might be saved yes, from everlasting hell. Mm -hmm. Oh God, we want you to help us right now. Yes, Father. Lift up the bow down here. Yes, and we'll be so careful to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. Jesus' name we Jesus pray. Name. Amen. Amen. At uh, this time, we're going to uh, have our scripture reading this morning. Uh, Sister Locus is here. And she's going to give us our scripture reading. Where are we coming from this morning? Thank the Lord for being here this morning. And for our opening scripture, you have your word. We ask you uh, to turn with us to Psalms 95, mm -hmm. verses 1 through 6. 95. Mm -hmm verses 1 through 6 and we'll read all six verses together okay and it reads sing oh, oh 95 95 mm -hmm. I know you said 96 90, 1 through 6 okay mm -hmm. and, we, and it reads oh come, come let, let us sing unto the Lord let, let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation, salvation. let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader here and do of his word. At this time, we're going to sing a couple songs. I want you to join in with us. We're thank, just thankful for another day, another Sunday that God has blessed us to be in his presence. Amen. What do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what, what do, do you want, want the Lord, Lord to, to say? say? Oh, well done, thy good and faithful servant, entering the joy of the Lord. Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, well done, thy good and faithful servant, entering the joy of the Lord. 
Oh, that's what I want the Lord to say. Oh, that's what I want the Lord to say. Oh, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter in the joy of the Lord. Put your time in. Payday's coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday's coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday's coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday's coming after a while. Payday, payday. Payday is 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 coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday is coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday is coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday is coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday is coming after a while. Payday, payday. 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 Payday is coming after a while. Amen. The song says, put your time in. Payday is coming after a while. Man. Bishop? All right, we thank the Lord for the scripture reading coming from Psalm 95. Mm -hmm. And we thank the Lord for the song of Zion. Mm -hmm. And that song is true. Put your time in. Because mm -hmm. payday is coming. Mm -hmm. We will be paid. Yes, Lord. According to our work. Mm -hmm. And so you want to put the time in. Yes, you know Lord we're on the job. If you don't put your time in, mm -hmm. there's no sense in going to look for no check. Well, that's so, true. You want, so you want to get paid. That's right. You better put your time in. Amen. So we want to do, we're going to get paid, but we want to get paid the good pay. That's right. That's you right. Want to get paid, you don't want to get paid that other pay, that second resurrection. That's we don't want right. that. If we will today, Oh, well, look out, uh, look in the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to kind of continue on this thought. Um, we were talking about last Sunday, and I think we talked about Wednesday. We was talking about that man that I thought he had it made with mm -hmm. the barn. Mm -hmm. But we jumped off into this thing about self. Mm -hmm. And I want to continue that today, talking about self, out of Proverbs 14. Okay. Proverbs 14 and 14. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for all of you that are joining us today. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, let somebody know that we're on there and they'll, they'll get something that will help them. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I thoroughly believe that these messages are designed to help us, now listen to this, to help us in our everyday life. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with reality. Mm -hmm. See, we're not, some of these preachers come on here uh, with this candy cane gospel, this la-la land stuff. We're dealing with reality. Mm -hmm. This is life and death. Mm -hmm. This is heaven or hell. Yeah, and yeah. this is what we are dealing with. We don't believe we we don't get on here talking about you can live any way you want to during the during the week and, and clap on Sunday and you going to heaven anyhow. That that is a fallacy. That's not that, that that's not real. So we want to deal with that. So let's look at that. Uh, we want to deal with the reality mm -hmm. of serving the Lord. There is a reality in serving God. Fourteenth yes, chapter. Mm -hmm. In verse number 14, mm -hmm. it tells us the backslider mm -hmm. in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to deal with those last three words in that verse. Satisfied from himself. Mm -hmm. And we want to talk about getting away mm -hmm. from yourself. Mm -hmm. Getting away 
from yourself. Mm. Now, self is the main problem that prohibits churchgoers from becoming more spiritual. Mm -hmm. The design, I believe, of the church is for us to come in. We come in out of the world. And we come in to get saved from sin. But the church should also teach us how to live mm -hmm. holy and godly lives. At the same time, we are becoming spiritual, more like Christ. Mm -hmm. God is a spirit. So for us to be successful, we have to become spiritual. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem in the church now. Too many people going, but they're too worldly. Mm -hmm. They're too carnal. Mm -hmm. And that's that that that's that is what's throwing people off. And the the, the church is, is, is to a place where uh, I'm not talking about the true church, I'm talking about the the visible church. Mm -hmm. the, the the congregation doesn't know where they're going or what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They don't know if they a social club, they don't know if it's just a gathering place, a place to have fun. Well, see, people are trying to design this. We want people to come, mm -hmm. but it should be there for folk to be saved mm -hmm. and become spiritual, mm -hmm. not just another club. So, this 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 stops people from fulfilling the purpose of the church. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if you look at this, if a if a person or if a brother or a sister mm -hmm. continues to operate in self, what this scripture is saying, he or she will backslide. Because if they get filled with their own ways, they are no longer being led by the Lord mm -hmm. or the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a key right there. Uh, if you go up to that 12th verse in the 14th chapter, it said, there is a way mm -hmm. which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Mm -hmm. See, it's things that seem right to us. And these things seem right to us because we're operating in the flesh. Mm -hmm. But if we keep operating like that, it's death. Mm -hmm. It's death spiritually and it's death naturally. So, we have to understand that. Look at Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Mm -hmm. What does the Lord tell us there? Your ways mm -hmm. are not my ways. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. He says, as high as the heaven is above the earth. That's the gap between the way we think and what God thinks. That's true. So we got to get lined up. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we have to understand that church goers, uh, we come out of the world with the spirit of the world. So there has to be a change there. See, you, you, you can't just come out of the world and just because you're sitting in the church with a group of folk, you automatically are all right or you know what's going on. No, because you, what are you bringing with you? You're bringing with you that same spirit you had when you was in the world. So there have to be a transition there. Now let's, let, let's, let's follow that over scripture. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter number 2. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. See, a lot of times people don't get into these things. They just, they just tell you to come and uh, we just glad to have you, which we are. But we want to effect mm -hmm. a change mm -hmm. that is going to help us down the line. Mm -hmm. what, what, what good is it for me to be there if I don't know how to operate spiritually? Because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Once you come into the church, you are still going to have to deal with trials, tribulations, problems, situations. Life is going to still go. And the devil is really going to attack you. Yes, How do I deal with these things? Mm -hmm. And we have to, if, if, if you don't have a spiritual brace or background, you'll break down. And it's simple as that. 
So how how do we how do we do these things? Mm -hmm. Look at let's what did I say? First Corinthians mm -hmm. two. First Corinthians two. Now let's 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 look at that. Mm -hmm. Let's look at that. I think I want uh verse number twelve, I believe I want there. Mm -hmm. And let's see if we can get some type of if we can get some type of understanding. Now let's look at that. Mm -hmm. Look what he says. No, let's start with number eleven. Look what said, verse eleven says. For what man knoweth the things of a man, mm -hmm. save the spirit of man which is in him. Mm -hmm. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. So what we bring to the table is what we had when we came out of the world. Now we're going to have to learn the spirit of God. We're going to have to transition from carnal the spiritual. Mm -hmm. Look what he said. Now watch this. Verse 12. Now, this starts right when you start hearing the word. Mm -hmm. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. So we got to mm -hmm. get rid of that. You you don't come into the church to get the spirit of the world. Right. That's the key. And that's the problem now. Mm -hmm. We're trying to give people the spirit of the world to keep them coming. That ain't going to help them. It said, we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. That we, why do I need it? That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. If I'm going to learn spiritual things, I'm not going to learn spiritual things with a carnal spirit. It ain't going to work. That, there has to be a transition there. He he explains this to us. He said, "Which things also we speak, mm -hmm. not in the words which man wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual." Mm -hmm. That is the key. Apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Mm -hmm. See, even when you do division. Uh, when you when you have mixed fractions and things like that, and you add them or subtract them, you have to come up with a common denominator. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if it's uh, four twelfths or five sixteenths, you got to you got to make that common denominator where you either going to go fifteens or thirties, something that you could add together. That's called a common denominator. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing in the church. Spiritual with spiritual. Mm -hmm. Not carnal with spiritual. It ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem you got in the church now. Mm -hmm. They're trying to make it too common and too carnal. And that's what you got folk in the church that are not spiritual. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at verse 14. Look what it said. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to receive it. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening now. These people in the church, they're not receiving spiritual things. Probably they're not receiving them because they're not getting them. Mm -hmm. Look at that. For they are foolishness unto him. Mm -hmm. Neither can he know them, watch this, because they are spiritually discerned. Mm -hmm. So he, he's not going to get it. Mm -hmm. So that that's a problem. People are not becoming spiritual, and that keeps them from operating. That's why you have so much people say, "Well, why is all, all so all these problems going on in the church? Why are you having all this mess going on in the church?" That's why it's not everybody is bad. It's just too many are operating with a carnal spirit. And this is what this is what Paul says. If you just go over to the third chapter, look at the third chapter and verse number one. He said, "And I, brethren." Could not speak unto you as spiritual, but as unto carnal, mm -hmm. even as unto babes in Christ. Mm -hmm. I fed you with milk, not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither ye yet now are ye able. Watch this. For ye are yet carnal. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? For whereas there is among you, Envy, strife, division, are ye not carnal and walk as men? Mm -hmm. See, when that stuff goes on in the church, 
that is a sign of lack of spirituality. Or ye, he, that's what he said, you are yet carnal. In other words, you ought to be past this. But you are yet carnal. So, I mean, nobody, nobody's beating anybody up for, for how a person comes in the church. Because all of us come from something. And they've been in something. But once we get into the church, then the church should affect a change. There ought to be a change. Like the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, what is he? A new He's a new creature. Mm -hmm. What happened to the old thing? Behold, all things have become new. new. Mm -hmm. So, the, 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 and see, that's, that's what the church is designed to do. That's what the Word is designed to do. It's designed to make a change in you. Mm -hmm. And if we do not do not become or preach the Word or speak the Word, see the Word, uh, Paul looked at it and said this, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. for it is the power of God unto salvation mm -hmm. to everyone that believes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it'll make a change in you. I don't care what you've been in or what you've done. The Word of God will make a change. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. But we got, to, we got to watch this self. Because see, the self springs up when you start trying to live right for the Lord. Mm -hmm. That same spirit you had in the world, mm -hmm. which was the flesh, now when you get in the church, he disguises himself as self. Mm -hmm. See, and, and he, 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 he crops up when you're trying to do things that are right for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now I'll give you an example of that. I'll give you a good example. Go to the 18th chapter of Luke. And there you'll see uh, the parable of the... Uh, Pharisee and the publican mm -hmm. when, they, when they were praying there and you'll see how this man and Jesus points this out very clearly when you look at that 18th chapter there uh, starting at verse number 9 and look, look what it said he said and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves mm -hmm. That they were righteous and despised others. Mm -hmm. So why did he teach this parable? He tells me right from the jump. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching this for all these people that trust in themselves. Mm -hmm. Then he goes on to speak it. He said two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Well the Pharisee is supposed to be the religious man. Mm -hmm. And the publican was a tax collector. And people hated them because they collected taxes for the Romans. Mm -hmm. All right. Look what it said. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. Now he didn't see he, he didn't say nothing about him being on his knees, did he? <laughs> no, he did. No. He stood <laughs> and prayed with see, with himself. <laughs> he ain't praying for for the Lord to him. He ain't praying for nothing else but to for him, to hear himself. <laughs> That's all he's doing. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men. Now he's throwing off on everybody. Mm -hmm. Extortionist, unjust, adulterer, or even as this publican. He's going to call the publican now. Now what kind of praying is that? <laughs> That's right. But in his mind, he thinks he's right. You understand That's that? Right. <laughs> then he goes to bragging on himself. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. So now he's gonna pat himself on the back. What kind of prayer is that? Mm -hmm. And the Lord, now look what, and look at that publican. Publican standing afar off would not even lift so much his eyes to heaven, hit his breast, saying, "Be merciful to me, a sinner." Yes, Lord. Look what he said. He said, "I tell you, this man went down to his house justified." Now watch this. What did he call that Pharisee? Look what he called him. And I always want you to watch that. He said, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Mm -hmm. See, that Pharisee, he called him the other. Mm -hmm. Now, anytime you see that in the Bible, that word other, that means excluded. That, that, that's, that's how he 
classified those virgins that one read. Mm -hmm. Other virgins. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 even when he talked about the rap, he said one be taken, the other be left. Mm -hmm. So, so anytime you see this word other, that means he is out. Mm -hmm. His prayer did him no good and God did not accept it. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have to be careful about letting self get it. If God give you a gift, if you can do something, that gift is not to attract attention to you. Mm -hmm. That gift would be to glorify God. Mm -hmm. And so many people get caught up in that, in, in, in self. Mm -hmm. Wanting to be seen, wanting to have attention, mm -hmm. want, wanting uh, people to know them, wanting to be acknowledged. Mm -hmm. No, no, mm -hmm. that's, that, 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 that's not right. Mm -hmm. Even when it comes to salvation, here's another thing. God has set in line, he had put down in his word the way for us to be saved. Mm -hmm. Now, people have all kind of thoughts, all kind of dogmas, all kind of ideologies, all kind of thing on salvation. The Bible tells us, even when the scripture, uh, when the scripture said, man said, what must I do to be saved? Mm -hmm. And even, even the, the rich man said, what must I do to inherit mm -hmm. eternal life? Now, let's, let's, let's look at something. I'm, I'm going to give you another example of this. Go to 2 Kings, chapter number 5. I'm going to give you another example of this. When it comes to salvation, we have to do things the way the Bible says. This yeah. is no place for your input. Yeah. This is no place for your thoughts mm -hmm. or what you think is right. This is exactly what you got here. Second uh, uh, Kings chapter number five. Mm -hmm. Now you dealing with Naaman. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a captain of the guard. The Bible said he was a he was a man of valor. So he he, he was a, he was a man that didn't mind going to war. Mm -hmm. But he was a leper, mm -hmm. and here we know that leper is symbolic of sin. Mm -hmm. So if you look if you look at that, if you look at that, go down to verse number ten. He goes to Elisha. And so the Bible tells you, uh, if you look at uh look at verse number nine, it says, So Naaman came with his horses, with his chariot, and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. Watch this. Elisha sent a messenger unto him saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, mm -hmm. and thy flesh will come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. Mm -hmm. Note number one, Elijah didn't come out there to him. Mm -hmm. See, Naaman was a big time guy. He, mm -hmm. he, he, he wasn't no small fry. He, he was well known, mm -hmm. and he had a powerful position. Elijah didn't even go out. Mm -hmm. Elijah sent a messenger. Mm -hmm. And, and that's what the Lord does for us. God sends his word by the message. Mm -hmm. And so he told him what to do. So he says, all you got to do is go and wash in Jordan seven times. You shall be clean. Look at verse number 11. But Naaman mm -hmm. was wrong mm -hmm. and went away and said, Behold, two key words out of this scripture. I thought. Mm -hmm. See, he got mad because he didn't do what he thought he was wanting to do. Mm -hmm. He said, I thought, mm -hmm. I thought he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. Now, he, well, if, if you already know how it's supposed to be done, you do it. <laughs> He tell me uh, he come out, call on his God, strike his hand over the place, and recover the leper. Now you the leper, but you gonna tell him how to recover you. But see, that's how foolish. But that's how foolish a lot of uh, well, things you do when you get in south. That's foolish. And he mad. He the one sick, but he the one mad. And I'm telling you, that's what self will do for you. Not not now. Let's oh, add insult to injury. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 12. Are not Abana and Farfar rivers of Damascus? Mm -hmm. I don't want to go and wash in Jordan. 
I want to go and watch in my homeland. See, that, those were Damascus. That's where he come from. Mm. He don't want to watch what he told him. <laughs> he want to go where he, where he want to. Mm. Aren't they better than all the waters of Israel? Why, may I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. Mm. And that's mm. Now he mad. Because <laughs> the thing not going the way he wanted to go. What was the problem? You go back to that. You go back to that eleven verse. I thought this is where I thought it was supposed to work, and it didn't work this way. So now I'm upset. God don't have to clear nothing with us. No, He don't. He can work however He want to work. That's right. And He walking away mad, and He He walking away mad and sick. And a lot of times people find fault and mad. With the church and people in That's the church, right. how you gonna get clean? Mm -hmm. That's right. How you gonna get clean, mm -hmm. mad and finding fault? Yeah. Some people, and it's foolish. Mm -hmm. Cause some people, sure, all of us. Well, I might not say all of us, but a lot of us mm -hmm. have had some bad experiences in the church. Mm -hmm. And some people let this happen to them, and they say. I ain't never going back to church no more. I'm mad. I ain't never going back to church. Mm -hmm. I ain't stuck church. Well, if you don't go back to church, who's going to be hurt? Yeah. How are you going to get clean? How are you going to get saved? How are you going to be ready to meet God? Yes, Lord. The Bible said, how shall they hear without a preacher? Mm -hmm. How shall he preach? That's why Elijah didn't come out. He said, hey, you hear the message. Mm -hmm. You get the message. All you need is a message. You don't need nobody to wave their hand over you. Mm -hmm. That's right. You don't need nobody to strike a post. Just do what I told you. That's right. That's mm -hmm. the key. That's the so key. he went. He he went away mad, mm -hmm. and he had to take a take take a <laughs> take a servant to tell him. If, if he had told you some hard to do, you would have done. Mm -hmm. But all he tells me to do is go and dip seven times. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? That's right. Self does not like to conform or comply. That's true. Mm -hmm. Self don't. When it comes to spiritual things, self will let you do whatever you want to do. You you can. I tell you what. You you can go out. You can go to a a, a casino, mm -hmm. and self will let you stay up all night gambling. Mm -hmm. But go call yourself. Go out there. Go out there and pray. Get on your knees. Self go, self don't want to do it. <laughs> He's going to make you just as sleepy and tired. Same, I tell you, enough time he'll do oh, it if, if you decide to uh, read your Bible. That's true. He, gonna, he don't want to do that. That's right. He's pulling back on that. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you have to do? You have to push past that. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, we're reading this. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I lost my place. Go back and start over. That's right. If you're praying, mm -hmm. well, I lost my thought. I, I, no, start over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to fight self. That's right. Self is being promoted by the devil. Yes. And you got to fight him. That's right. That's what you have to do. A good man is satisfied from himself. You have to put that rascal in his place. Yes, Lord. Sure. Paul mm -hmm. looked at that thing. He said, I must keep my body under subjection. Mm -hmm. I got to keep control of this thing because if I don't control it, I'll be the priest of it, and that thing will be the mess me up. That's right. That's what you got to do. You got you, you, you to do. We, we warm. We're in a war. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. the, the devil trying to, the, let me tell you something. The closer we get to the coming of the Lord, the enemy picking up his attack. He know his time is short. And he trying to get everybody he can. Yes, Lord. To be lost. That's right. But Satan is a liar. Mm -hmm. God's word is true. That's right. So, 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 don't get caught up in trying to look what he said. That backslider filled with his own ways. Don't get filled up with yourself, mm -hmm. huh? Empty that out. Empty that out. If you got to pray, if you got to fast, to, to empty that out. Empty it out. Mm -hmm. Empty it out, and then let the Lord deal with us, so we yeah, can Lord. be what He wants us to be. Mm -hmm. We want to be ready when He comes. We don't, don't. This ain't no time to be somewhere sleeping, resting on our law. We got, right. we got to, we got to tighten this thing up. Mm -hmm. Satisfied from him.
yourself. Mm -hmm. Get away from yourself. Mm -hmm. It might not be the easiest thing to do because he's he with you all the time, but you still put him, put him in his spot. Mm -hmm. Tell him. You're not taking over the day. Not today. When you get ready to start something, try to stop you from doing what the Lord says. Just tell him, not today. Yes, Lord. Not today. We're going to do what the Lord says do. And then if you do slip up, if you do mess up, just ask the Lord to forgive you and keep going. Keep going. Don't wallow in it. And that's what the devil will do. He'll try to make you feel bad, and he keep bringing up. Well, you supposed to have been saved. You did all that. Yeah. Lord, forgive me. I'm moving on. Mm -hmm. Satan, you are alive. Mm -hmm. The blood is against you. Mm -hmm. And keep on moving. Mm -hmm. We certainly hope something has been said to help you today along your way. And like I said, we, we, we deal in reality. Something that you can do in your day-to-day -day life to help us to walk in a way that's pleasing to God. Yes, and the Bible says, if your ways please Him, mm -hmm. He'll give you the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. So we certainly pray that that has helped you today. Uh, Sister Lucas will come with our announcement. Truly, we thank God for everyone who was blessed to join us today and we thank, certainly thank the Lord for that word satisfied from himself that's a good that's a good one right. and we just thank the word thank the Lord for the word but our announcements are as follows we uh, continually invite you to join us every Sunday at 12 15 um, and we're in the Hallmark Meridian Community Room with 59 Central Avenue and we thankful for those who are joining us via live stream also, every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m., we invite you to join us for Bible study. Grab your word, invite somebody to join, join you as we learn more about the Word of God together and how to please Him. Also, we, if you would like to go to Bishop's YouTube channel, there you can find over 100, 1,500, 20 um, YouTube teachings mm -hmm. and uh, Bible studies. Uh, it's something on there I guarantee you that will lift your spirits up that will keep you moving in the right direction Amen. There's a lot of them over there. So we just invite you to go go to his YouTube channel That is Bishop Jonathan E. Locus and also lastly but not least if you'd like to be a blessing to this ministry Please feel free to do so via cash app dollar sign ministry 2021 Again, we're thankful for you all joining us today. These are our announcements. Let us govern ourselves accordingly Okay, God bless you. We thank you for joining us today, and we ask you to tune in. Lord, say the same on Wednesday night at 7 p.m., and God say the same. We'll be right back here on Sunday afternoon. Now, we're praying to go at 12.15 on Sunday, but if we run into a little problem with the weather and things, we'll be on at 1 o'clock, but Sister Locus will put it out on her page to let you know exactly what's going on so we thank god for all of you that joined us pray for us and we will pray for you god bless you